Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models, my name is Bob Waldron and welcome to this new inbox review. We're going to be taking a look at Academy's new offering, a whole brand spanking new tool for 2023. It is an A10 Thunderbolt, it's in 140 ape scale. Does look like a really cool kit. I've only just done the Hobby Boss inbox review. That was a very good, good contender. Uh, a little bit old, whereas this one is a new tool for 2023. So let's open it up and take a look. Now it is coming in at around about um, the £39.99 mark, which isn't far off the Hobby Boss. So price um, isn't um, that far off. So let's take a look. This is um, the first part, which is quite interesting right this is the construction is very sort of different to the hobby boss 148 scale um, and this is where it kind of really sort of starts it is we have these um, I'm, we're kind of seeing it more and more in scale modeling where manufacturers are going off and instead of doing your traditional two mold coming together inject it with styrene plastic um, we're, we're kind of having this kind of like multiple molds coming together to create things like this this is our real part of the fuselage and it is basically totally closed off as well um, what you have with these kind of um, molds is you'll find that yes there is like a join line sort of running down and we do have hopefully as you can see there you can just see that join line running all the way down the spine there and then you've got one running all the way along there i must admit um, the one here and here is hardly noticeable you could get away with it but yes the top one you're going to want to do a little bit of say um filing sanding just to kind of smooth that off which isn't so hard um if it wasn't for the fact that we've got this gorgeous surface detail if we kind of try and look close we have all this lovely raised rivets where they're due and there's lots of it as well as very crisp recessed panel lines um, as well so yes you've got to take care of that join line just there which isn't hard but the problem's going to be is the, all this very fine raised rivet work that's along there um, I do believe in my Apache video we did go over on how to make your own um, raised rivet so that's probably a good one to go check out but yes looks so so nice then this is even cooler as well we've got our engine section just here again we've got this whole one one piece thing um, I did say yes we've got our join line is along here which actually there's not major detail where that join line is so that should be quite easy to take care of um, but again yes lovely recessed panel lines raised rivets again um, looking so so nice and oh so gorgeous inside there you will see um, at the back here you will see it's a little bit inside there so for that to be so nice and gorgeously smooth is so so nice uh, to have a scale model you've got nothing to do in there except for spray to ball noise um, so yeah very very impressed so far with that um, moving along we have um, a couple of bits and bobs to get through right um, I haven't seen how many weapons we've got with this kit but you want a lot to be fair because we've got lots of options right uh, looks like we've got two duplicate sprues just here so whatever's on here is um, a duplicate so we look like we have um, what seems to be like two uh, mavericks by the looks of it um, looks like we have two three four bombs two sidewinders um, and two three four bombs i do believe you get um, quite a bit more weapons and firepower in the hobby boss one but yes the detail on these weapons are looking good our air intakes and the fans our rockets as well we've got multiple choice going on here again very sort of um, well detailed with that some more um, fans as well the wheels looking very sharp and crisp um, that's two uh, two halves to, to, to make one very cool as well pilots um i must i must say um i am missing the days where you kind of always seem to have pilots within with kits and they seem to not be doing it so often so it is really good to see pilots and as you can see you know all sorts of kind of webbing going on there uh where's his head 
we got um, options here we've got um, uh, a head just here which we can just make out eyes mouth nose but we've also got visor down as well so that is quite cool for them to give us a option um, very very nice indeed so as I say uh, two sprues of them uh, we also have a few little bits and bobs going on here mainly we've got our um, instrument display panel looking that is so so lovely and crisp raised recess detail cannot grumble with that instrument display panel um, even a bit more detail for our cockpit again so so crisp uh, a few little bits and bobs we've got i do believe this is our wheel well for the front landing gear and you know what that is a lot of lovely detail inside there i mean all sorts of raised rivets and recesses and all sorts of good stuff in there really cool 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 detail uh, we then have the bottom um, fuselage front nose section right again same level of lovely detail with uh, raised rivets where are they due recessed ones and recessed panel lines looking really really good there flip this over um, eject pin marks I don't think these are going to be a problem at all so we ain't going to worry about that next sprue all right we have two screws in this bag get this out nicely uh, first off let's take a look at the front nose section all right so we have our fuselage front nose section again lovely detail as you can see there lovely surface detail i think that's probably going to be one of the big differences with the hobby boss and this academy one it's um you can the, the surface detail is better i mean the hobby boss one is still good but uh, this is still rather rather nice a bit more internal detail here as well with no ejector pin marks nice rib work a few little bits of detail here and there um pylons they are looking um, good surface detail like the rest of the kit um, bit of ejector seat on here as you can see loads of intricate detail with that also uh, what else we've got some more wheels right again crisp detail there also we have our cockpit tub bags and bags of detail with the buttons all sorts of raised detail going on with that and recessed areas right as you can see i mean that is going to make a very sort of well detailed cockpit by the looks of this i'm seeing a lot a lot of detail for the cockpit very very impressive uh just checking on any nasty eject pin marks Ooh, okay um just on our pylons just here you might just be able to see we've got ejector pin marks in places that you wouldn't want them to be little bit of a shame and yes the rest of these um, pylons have them as well that's such a shame i mean this was looking i mean it's still a damn good kit i'm not going to completely knock it just for a couple of projector pin marks but um you know it it is it's a shame for something such a new mold to still have those kind of schoolboy errors so to speak where's our landing gear bits as well have we got yes i'm even seeing you can just see tiny eject pin marks on the landing gear as well um such a shame um yeah it was look it's such a good kit i mean the only thing i could fault is those eject pin marks now um apart from that it is all looking good so uh next brew we have what looks to be a nice big fat fuel tank as you can see um lovely detail surface detail like the rest of the kit um and we've got some sensors on here and some rockets lovely surface detail going along with that um next set of sprues oh we may as well just jump straight into it we have our canopy uh, <clears throat> If you could sort of see that we have you know nice crystal clear does look like there is yes there is a join line going all the way down the middle there so that's something to um, you know sand out um, you know polish up and get just just right just put up to the light um, um, maybe slightly a little bit rippled um, but looking pretty crystal clear um, you shouldn't have any real problems with that 
moving along our last sprue now this is where we come in with the wing section right so some pretty big sprues to show off here um, looking at the surface detail yes just like the rest of the kit absolutely gorgeous cannot grumble nice bit of internal detail there for the landing gear area um, top wing section right very crisp recessed panel lines loads of lovely detail um, not sure if these are like flaps or ailerons or something but again lovely detail on there uh, flip it over there are a couple of ejector pin marks but I do believe they're all going to be pretty sort of covered up um, moving along we have you know again some more sort of like tail section again surface detail looking you know just consistent throughout the kit right there's not going to be certain pieces that aren't consistent you know they are all lovely lovely surface detail throughout okay just looking at the back for any um eject pin marks in nasty places um i mean there was there are quite a few on this area if those are gonna be visible because i mean there is a bit of detail in there so maybe they are would be a shame um, if it is um, but yeah there are all the sprues leaving us with um, instructions of some decals now with the decals now this is quite cool i am seeing this a little bit more often uh, with new builds is they are throwing in canopy masks um, and i do believe you get wheel masks as well with this so uh, we are getting nice touches like that so that's a nice little bonus which i do believe just that i don't think the um, the hobby boss one has that either so it's a, a nice little extra there we then have our decals or decals depending on what continent you are from printed in court korea i do find academy normally kind of like i mean their old decals were pretty bad actually but their newer stuff is is definitely improving so looking at this we do have the whole decals for all your instrument display panels, which I do believe they will look good um, if you do decide to go down that route. We have all sorts of stencils, which, you know, trying to look at the small writing, it does look like it is readable. You know, the colors look good. Everything seems to be in registry. Nice decals with tigers and, and all sorts of, you know, teeth. Um, the sort of silver areas as well that is quite a nice uh, bit of ink going on there for a silver right i mean it's not kind of been um done gray or something like that that does look like a good bit of silver so that's nice to see as well in the decals now instructions we do do have two sets of instructions here as you can see we've got a manual two which is in color and better quality paper and then we have the not so good quality paper in black and white so we'll start off with this we do have um, a lot of colors to choose from it does sort of show us all the humbrol the gsi testers live color revel vallejo ak interactive loads and loads of colors to, to 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 pick from which i do like when they do do that now it is the fold out instructions i'm not a big fan but hey ho now we do it does look like they do cram a lot into one space right but I have looked at these earlier and you know what? It does seem to get you there. You know, it does show you the give us the color call outs for everything. And if you do sort of follow everything, I mean, I know it's crammed in there, but it does seem to get us there. Maybe in some places it's kind of like a, you know, you might have to play around a bit and sort of work out where everything goes just, just because it's so crammed and a little bit hard to see maybe. But as I say, it does seem to get you there in the end. Hopefully you don't have to put the uh, landing gear in at this stage. You want to leave it till the end. Um, does look like there's a lot, uh, lot going on with our ejector seat and the, the cockpit area. Um, we've already seen the detail on that. Looks amazing. Looks like we're going to have a very, very nice cockpit. Uh, bring your two fuselage halves together, the front nose section, um, and you're kind of there. Now this area here, just note, you know, there is a 25 gram ballast that you want to put in the front so um, don't miss that we don't want a tail sitter uh, 
I do so I mean just be careful here I mean again I haven't built this so I don't know what the fits like but um, this area here I can just imagine the potential for being gaps for being steps so you know do test fit and just just um, be careful there don't just glue it and throw it in straight away um, going straight in with pylons um, wheel well doors um, in the open position doesn't seem to show in the closed position but normally you can close them if you want to uh, then we have all our bits like say sort of like ailerons and and um, flaps and all this kind of stuff D does not look like um, the tail section is going to have posable parts but it does look like we can open and close a few things um, in regards to like the flaps and um, ailerons and stuff like that um, kind of strange how part way through the build them showing you how to build um, things like weapons and putting the pylons down they normally leave that till last but you know it's probably not a big deal um, moving along you know it does show us um, where masking needs to go i.e. sort of like for the wheel mask which is um, cool but again it's it's compressed so you've got to sort of study these instructions maybe a little bit more moving along we then have the wing section uh, for the opposite side and how that goes together as well as some more weapons and sensors and how they go together right and then um, you kind of just bring your wing section to your fuselage section um, hopefully we shouldn't have any fit issues as you can see it's a little bit different to say the hobby boss one um, with the way it goes together uh, but fingers crossed you know there's no major fit issues then we move on to our manual 2 which is in color and better quality paper so what we could see here is yes we bring the rotary gun and the nose section um, to the rest of our model as well as the tail section which again you know doesn't seem to be any sort of posable um, areas on there seems to be quite static then we have um, fuel tanks and the engine section um i'd have probably put the engine section in maybe a little bit sooner than later than this stage um but yeah looks like it seems to go together good call outs um don't see any sort of major issues with that right um and then we've got sort of like the, the canopy open or closed um we've got sort of like open and closed with the the, the step ladder and all sorts of little bits and bobs on there um, and we do have the call outs for um, the canopy mask which is rather cool so then we move on to the stencils and the markings um, does look quite clear where all the stencils are going you know um, top bottom port starboard um, nice how they kind of show us the sort of non-slip coated areas um, nice little note here about sometimes that can be dark which is cool um, I do like how they go off and they give you actual pictures of the actual aircraft and sort of like details to, sh to show there as well then we move along with the actual markings now which we have four nice markings to choose from um, admittedly um, it's the mainly sort of like the gray scheme um, not any kind of special ones but um, you know we do have a little bit of a special one here that does have a bit of a camo on the tail section and the cool decals and stuff so um not a bad array of markings to choose from with that so all in all you know this does look like a cool kit it does look better than the hobby boss one the surface detail does look a lot better the construction is different and does look like it I mean fingers crossed being a 2023 new tool build it should go together and drop together a lot better than an older one um, but I haven't built one of these yet and I haven't seen many people build one yet so I might have to wait for a couple of build reviews to come out on how this goes together but for the price you know they've priced it quite nicely to be just that little i think it's only like three pounds more than the hobby boss version so um there's not much in it in price um as i said the only thing i'm really sort of grumbling about this is you know what there's quite a lot of old school errors with ejector pin marks in the landing gear, gear area and the pylon area um, which is a little bit of a shame because this kit could almost be perfect if it wasn't for that 
and if it goes together well so i'm going to say yes it is a big nice big thumbs up interestingly enough there is another new tool coming out as well apparently great wall hobbies will be releasing sometime this year their 1 in 48 scale version of an a10 as well so we're getting proper spoiled with a10s this year um, and we'll just have to see how good the great wall hobby one is so it is kind of like one of them i mean we've got this you know the hobby boss we've got the academy version you might want to hold out for the great wall hobby one just to see which one's the best and maybe buy whichever whichever you want to go for so yeah do stay tuned because we'll get the great war hobby one in as soon as it does come in and do an inbox review of that as well so as always until next time my name is bobby wardrow and this is models and i hope you've enjoyed <laughs>